You saw them die? No. Nobody was getting out of there. You should have. I'm sorry, Lee. He did what he had to. All the way to the end. We should go. I don't really want to stay by this alley of death anymore. Kind of sucks. Because we just lost uh, Kenny, just lost Ben. Well, Kenny's the maybe? But Ben's the, yeah, he's fucking dead. Do you want to talk? No. Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. He was what passes for a friend now. I understand. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What? What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Are you okay? I should be asking you that. Before, in the attic. It's nothing. What's nothing? Let's just keep moving. <laughs> Fuck. Be careful across here. Yeah, now we're gonna walk across a bridge that looks like it was created from plywood and pallet parts. Yeah. And then Lee is looking worse. Jeez. I mean, on the bright side, if we fall, I mean, if we try to aim this way, it would be more or less okay. You fall down there and you're fucked. Shit. Yeah. Oof. But hey, we made it. Just up ahead. No problem. For once. Yeah, look, see, there's the play with pallet parts. Even the buildings are full. They never know where the next meal is. Ugh. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah, but so we just lost two of our members in like two minutes. Don't really care to lose anyone else here. That would suck. Alrighty, where are we at now? We almost there? Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Yeah. <laughs> Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. The decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first. I'll go first. Go first the rest of the time. Happens out there. You sure? Yeah. I'm pretty fucking sure. Oh shit! You hold on, Clem. Big Daddy Lee's coming. Just go nice and slow. Shit. Almost there. Come on. It's an easy cross. Come on. Just a little further. 
Little bit. Oh shit. Shit! Oh fuck! Shit! Are you okay? Oof. Fine. I'm kinda fucked here. What are you gonna do? Uh um uh, well fuck. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? By the boat? No, no boat. Uh, by the train, yeah. Let's meet outside of town. By the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus. We'll be there. You better be. Damn it. All right, come on, come on. Jeez. Oh, perfect. Horde looks like it got even bigger. Ooh. Oof. Ow. Shit, that one hurt like a bitch. Then again, I guess he can't really feel anything right now. All that music. <sighs> Fuck you. Mm -mm. No, sir. Not today. Oh. Mm. God, they're getting close. Just, yeah, keep... Hammer through them. Oh, my God. Cut that guy's head off. Meant some fucking business. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, but we finally made it to the Marsh House. Clem's here somewhere. Damn it, I'm getting her back. Bitch. Where the fuck are you? Where is my Clementine? Okay, let's get a listen. Here's someone walking around in there. Got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out. Who's out there? Shh. 
Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? Uh, Barnaby Jones. Like, fuck. No. I don't know anything about him. You wouldn't. People like you don't. You call me urban like Kenny. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest full of all sorts of food. Nice. Things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, V. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. No, you kind of are a villain right now. Your people didn't. Oh, come on. I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? Because it wasn't my shit. It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. All right. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose, of course. Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. How'd you lose him? That's what I want to know. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, V. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. Sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Oh. Do I look like a monster to you? No, I mean, you're not a monster. You're just fucked in the head some no I'm not like you what you walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her it's not like I knew they were cannibals from the get-go it's more complicated than that you let a boy <laughs> yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun she was a gunslinger It was impossible to save him. To save them both. How many times did she almost die with you? Oh. You would have done better, uh... You wouldn't have done better. That is exactly what I would have done! Uh, no. Your family, asshole. You kind of lost them all, didn't you? How could you know all this? 